Hi! This summer, as I was on vacation and going through the local stores to please the good old hunter-gatherer instinct, I stumbled upon something I had to catch. Well, bye. It wasn't these plain hourglasses where the one with black sand is rather useless. Instead of clocking, it is constantly clocking up. No, what I found is a magnetic hourglass. I need to see what my biggest magnet will do to this one. Can I even change the timing of it with magnetism? Let's find out. Big magnets are always risky to handle due to the lurking strong forces. But handling them near something magnetic inside a glass container adds a risk of sharp shrapnel flying around. Wear a face shield and cut resistant gloves as protection. First off, I want you to take a guess. Will a magnet affect the timing of this hourglass? And if so, will it make the hourglass go faster or slower? A pole should appear in the upper right corner of the video now. Press the white circle with the letter I in it and have a free guess. And feel free to elaborate on your guess in the comments. Looking forward to hearing what you think of it. Now, the point of using ferrosan in an hourglass is of course to add an extra visual effect. It will form spikes as it falls on top of the magnet. With the wood side up, the effect is barely visible. With the magnet side up, it is a bit better. I just don't like the added risk of the magnet coming loose and flying into the glass. And the spikes are still not as prominent as I would like them to be. A bigger magnet should solve this, but let's first measure the effect the included magnet has on the timing of the hourglass. Well, the minute glass to be precise. I timed it 10 times with the magnetic base and 10 times without it. Then I calculated the average time for the two setups. Here I have put the two runs that represent the average times best side by side. Ready to see the time difference? If you answer the magnet will not affect the timing, you are right, with the included magnet. The average times with and without the magnet are closer than the precision of one video frame at 25 frames per second. They didn't perfect the hourglass to one minute exactly, but I am surprised by how consistent the times are. Looks like I can trust this one down to half a second, unlike that useless piece of pause glass. Alright, time to spice things up. Instead of this cute magnet, I'll go all in with a 2000 times bigger monster magnet. If we don't see big spikes and a time change with this magnet, it will never happen. I will use the table as the wooden base with the magnet right under the tabletop, so around 3.5cm between the hourglass and the magnet. Yeah, now we are seeing the spikes I was looking for. However, I may have overdone it a tad. There's a very strong pull. I'm putting a lot of force on a fragile, cheaply made glass container. I need to back up a bit. Maybe 15 centimeters distance will work. Not bad. I'm seeing spikes and it doesn't feel like the glass is about to break. Time to see if a powerful magnet changes the timing. Um, yes, it does. The minute glass is slowed down to an infinity glass. The sand is magnetically bound together. Will it be permanent if I remove the magnet? No, it starts again. And when I move the magnet back, the bottom layer forms a peculiar shape, like a crest UFO. Nice! Can I get a like for this? 
I am changing the direction of the magnetic field with this horizontal movement. If I instead move the hourglass up and away from the magnet, it's a permanent effect. This I find interesting because it seems like the sand is magnetic even without a magnet nearby, indicating the sand is ferromagnetic, a magnet in itself. The sand grains have been magnetized and oriented to stick together as a solid piece, until I give it a shake and they start free-flowing again. Walking back to the table, it only stops right over the magnet. Now, for more solid proof that the sand is magnetized and not just compressed, I will measure it with a tesla-meter. With no magnet under the table, the probe is measuring the Earth's magnetic field, around 0.5 gauss at my place. Going closer to the locked hourglass, I definitely see an increase in field strength, around 11 gauss or 22 times the background magnetism. A very weak magnet, but the residual magnetism proves that the sand is magnetized. Most likely it is pure magnetite, a type of iron oxide with a weak form of ferromagnetism called ferrimagnetism. When I shake it, the grains are randomly oriented again and the magnetic field plummets. Ok, I need more distance between the hourglass and the magnet. My final attempt will be with the magnet right on the floor, 65 centimeters from the hourglass. It's working! There are no spikes, but the magnet is still affecting the sand. You can hear and see that it isn't flowing in a steady stream. The sand is sticking together in clumps. This bad flow is also visible in the timing. The average time for 5 runs was 1 minute and 18 seconds, 21% slower than without the magnet. If you answered a magnet will slow down the hourglass, you are right, especially with a large magnet. It will even stop time measured with an hourglass. A big thanks to all my patrons. I'm glad to see the support from more and more of you. It helps a lot. If you want to help me keep going with the videos too, then check out my Patreon page. Link is under the video. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and click the notification bell or you may miss the next video. Bye for now.